Okay, so no impact on the financial statements from that. So how do I track it then? Well, we're, we're, we're facilitating transactions with a vendor now. So we're gonna go into the vendor center, what I would call it under the expenses area. And then you've got your options up top. Now note that if you're in the business view, by the way, then it would be under the paid and paid area. And we're looking at the vendors down here. You've got your vendors and you've got your bills on down here. It's a little bit different over here because you've got that added tab of the expenses, which is which is a nice tab. So let's go up to that one actually first to find that one in, in the business view. They put that under the bookkeeping. So you can go under bookkeeping and then you've got your transactions up top and then your expenses tab to the right. So it's a different, little bit different location on that one than you might expect uh, on the transactions. So we've got, if we go into our uh, expenses, I'm gonna close this out. It'll give us the filter of transactions up top and we might filter this by the purchase orders. So this is one way we can, we can look at the open purchase orders. I have all status, you've got your date ranges and you've got your uh, payees and uh, your categories if applicable on down below. I'm gonna say apply, there's our purchase order. Now, as we accumulate more purchase orders, we, we could then say whether the purchase order is open or closed. Obviously it is open. So there's the open purchase order. If I said the purchase order was closed, the purchase order would disappear. We don't have any closed purchase orders. Closed meaning we have received the shipment and, uh, and that's gonna be the next step in the process. So the, the, next, the next step from the purchase order is we're going to basically make a bill with it right typically because we'll get a box of guitars with a bill in it and then we'll enter the bill possibly populating the bill for the information of the purchase order okay let's open this back up again go to the expenses tab and then we're going to go down to the vendors this is another way we can kind of track the information close up the ham bookie up top you got a nice little sort field I can sort my purchase orders. That'll give me the vendors which have the open purchase orders. There's the purchase order. Or I can go into just by vendor directly. And if I'm communicating with the vendor, I can go in here and say, okay, yeah, we've got this purchase order that is uh, an open purchase order. I can then hit the drop down, and I can copy it to a bill. So we'll make a bill of it next time. And I can send the purchase order if I need to from this area so the next step of course again is going to be that we're going to receive a bill we'll talk more about that in a future presentation for now 